Bantamweight Division matchup. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC. And I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. First day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxer. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a grappler holding a professional record of 19 wins, eight losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Misha Cupcake Tate. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of nine wins three losses she stands five feet six inches tall weighing in at 135 pounds and when the action begins a referee in charge eve levine the veteran eve levine draws the assignment here you ready you ready Fight. all right round one is underway curious to get your expectations for this matchup between a true grappler and a fighter on the other side that has every tool in the box she has every tool. She's one of the most well-rounded fighters in the entire UFC. She understands that her opponent will try to get her to the ground, but she's so well-versed in all the MMA that she feels that it'll lead her to victory. And she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, ladies. Oh. You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Keep the body. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Straight punch land. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC. Finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. That was a thudding leg kick. Tate gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh! She is such a reverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. She is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Lands the ground and pound strike. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position.
position. Can't falter here. She's doing a nice job. When you get in that spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing positions. Unreal to see. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Wow. Four sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet, but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth, and boom, there goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, but eventually she will find that moment. with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submission, or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up to the top from that beautiful half guard position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love that grappling can really be entertaining. All right, she's got her in a crucifix from top position here, DC. What are you trying to do with your legs to maintain control of that arm? You know, you got to take the knee, slide it over the top of one of the arms, so that when they're bridging and turning, the arm is just going up and down your shin, blocked by your ankle, blocked by your knee. That's how you keep it there, and you maintain the underhook on the other side. So you control one part with your knee, one part with your arm, and then you just use your hands to just punch and beat them up. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling. The great movement that she's showing on the ground. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Tate. Oh, keep it busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here, just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Connects with a right. Real nice body keep land. So the straight punch is there for her. Beautifully split the guard on that attempt. Even though her opponent's hands were up, she's... Oh! That's how you finish the fight. What a round. All right, so there is the horn. So we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't usually get up from those types of strikes. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly.
Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Right hand punch for Clinton. Oh, beautiful combination. It was all set up by that takedown. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Oh, look at this, she's got her in the crucifix. A lot of body weight with which to contend. We'll see how she tries to get up. It's a very tough situation for the bottom girl. Before the top fighter, all she has to do is just maintain and keep control. Keep it safe. Don't allow it to turn chaotic, because when it turns chaotic, you lose one of the arms. You gotta keep both knee arms. Punch, 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 elbow, 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 and end the fight. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. Oh, elbow strike landed by Tate. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Tate's back in north-south. Elbow. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Tate's back in half guard. Tate getting that ground and pound going and landing. Oh, how about that reversal by her there, champ? That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. Oh, right in the mouth. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Tate's looking for that arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. And there it is! Wow! Wow! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly, she had an opening, and she closed the show pretty effectively. UFC career. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you gotta think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out through the arm triangle show, Misha! There she is. A lot of people felt like this fight was destined to go the distance. She had other ideas. She said that if this fight went to the ground, it did not matter how good her opponent is. She was going to submit her. She did exactly that. She feels like she's levels above the rest of the game in the grapple.